Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today's video, guys, is an answer to a request, guys. Some of you requested if you have a BMW, guys, X1, uh, where the vacuum pump is located and what needs to be done to remove and replace the pump, guys. Now, we'll demonstrate on a six cylinder engine, guys. If you have N51, N52, N53, N54, or N55 engine, guys, the video should be helpful to locate the pump, see where the pump is located, and what special tools you need, guys, to replace the pump guys now if you want the complete replacement video uh, we will have it on the channel we're just waiting on the tune now guys but I'll show you what it looks like and uh, that's why we're making the video to let you know that if you're about to start that job guys okay you need to get some special tools without it it's practically impossible now quick uh, quick introduction to the channel guys every single car we get at the shop we make at least guys 200 free repair videos specifically on bmws we make close to four or five hundred videos guys why simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return guys please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys so we can keep providing that free information to you if you need to buy any of the special tools parts new pump anything like that check out the links in the description of the video below we share them for your convenience so this guy specifically okay is a bmw n52 engine that you can find in three series x3 x1 x uh, uh, x5 even guys five series bmw was one of the most popular engines but even if you have as i said n53 four five engine guys the procedure is practically the same number one step remove the intake manifold but before you start on that disconnect the car battery because the engine starter and the alternator is right underneath it and you don't want to short things out cause damage to electrical system modules computers guys we've done that in the past so disconnect the car battery it really matters which terminal you disconnect first positive or negative if you don't know that we will put the link to the video that explains all that in the description of the video below next you need to remove the intake manifold some of you guys that, know, uh, that do not know how to do that, uh, we have the complete video, step by step on N52 engine, how to do that, not very complicated at all. Uh, again, link will be in the description of the video below. Once you guys remove the intake manifold, it's recommended to replace these gaskets every time. Six gaskets, so we don't develop a vacuum leak. Now, that's where the engine starter is located in the alternator positive wire, that's why you have to disconnect your car battery. And next on the back side of your engine is where your vacuum pump is located. A weak spot on those, okay, is that rubber hose cracks. Ours is cracked terribly. Okay, I'll show you. Let me zoom in quick. On the bottom side, you can see multiple cracks on that hose. Okay, and what is causing that? All that heat from the engine, actually it becomes very fragile. That pipe can break here as well. If you have uh, uh, symptoms such as hard brake pad or weak brakes, it could be that pipe, guys. So always inspect the pipe that goes to the brake booster. And if you verify you have a bad pump, you need to replace it. Unfortunately, you cannot remove it, okay, from this side. You have to go on the front side, guys, and it's part, okay, let me show you now, through here, okay, it's part actually of the uh, timing chain system. This is the timing chain on your BMW six cylinder engine. Uh, you have exhaust camshaft, intake camshaft, now on the secondary timing chain, okay, right here, this, okay, check it out, this is the pump pulley, the vacuum pump pulley. There is a special tube that goes and locks it in place so it doesn't move, and you're going to remove when it's locked in place three bolts and one big bolt in the middle and the two looks like this one guys okay that's what the two looks like and once you guys okay once you uh, remove these bolts okay that pump will come out this way and you have one gasket here that you will need to replace as well now not very complicated but you will need to get the tools we'll share the links to the tools and the pump in the description of the video below thank you for watching guys please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time